We are opening here this evening an exhibit dedicated to the jazz ambassadors who traveled around the world in the 50s and 60s on uh, the behest of the State Department uh, in this Cold War era. To be able to distinguish ideologies was an important contribution and America wanted it to be known to the world that we were a diverse and free society, which jazz truly represented. This gallery is named after my wife, Cora Fisher, uh, and for the last two, two and a half years, uh, we show every two months a new exhibition in this place. It started with an exhibition which was part of our collection, private collection of uh, uh, which we call Artists Messengers of Peace. These are over 300 pictures and sculptures that are on the subject of peace. We were, we were not, we are not art collectors, we are peace collectors. The tours pictured here around you in the Middle East, Asia, Africa, were aimed to showcase the values of a democratic society in juxtaposition to, to, to totalitarianism. For more than two decades, famous American jazz artists were sent by the State Department to perform in far-flung countries as, uh, simply as ambassadors of goodwill. They drew enthusiastic crowds from Thailand to Togo and from Cairo to Krakow. Over there, there's Sachmo atop a camel at the pyramids, Dizzy Gillespie is over here with snake charmers in India, and Benny Goodman is blowing his clarinet with the king of Thailand, himself an, accompli an accomplished clarinetist. These jazz greats performed with local artists playing traditional instruments, they performed for kings and queens, and most of all, they reached out to people. Wherever they went, as these marvelous photographs show, these ambassadors brought goodwill and an infectious sense of fun. They also brought an appreciation for this uniquely American art form called jazz.